Want the latest in green tech? We're on it. This futuristic e-bike is from the UK. The plastic shell hides a battery which can power riders along for up to 60 miles. Recharge time is five hours, but a key reason to like this bike is that spare parts and accessories can be made with a 3D printer. It's a really cool bike, as you see, and it's designed very future. You can print many parts of this bike because the ETT will offer some 3D models online. And then you just download it and print it, just like a cup holder or a phone holder, just put it to the bike and then you can use it. The most funny thing, yeah, one of our customers just print his face on this pedal. Yes. The 11th edition of Eco Expo Asia is helping the world face environmental challenges through a global platform for the green industry. More than 320 exhibitors from 19 countries are at the Expo, organised by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council with Messi Frankfurt and the Hong Kong government. In Hong Kong alone, the environmental protection industry is worth 7.8 billion Hong Kong dollars, according to latest figures. Among the nations represented for the first time at the event is Scotland and developers of this heat battery, designed to deliver hot water to your home. This year, Innovation for Cleaner Living has its own featured zone called Echo Home Tech, where you'll find products like this one that puts a new green spin on fans hung from the ceiling. It's not a traditional ceiling fan, it's a smart fan. So you can control it, your home fan from your office through these mobile phones. It can save your cooling costs by 20% and heating costs by 30%. It costs much less than the air conditioning. The power of this thing fans is only 3 to 20 watts, so it's very low. And low power is an even bigger challenge for green tech making its way onto city streets. Fortune Dragon imports electric commercial vans from the mainland, aiming to replace Hong Kong's diesel minibuses and light goods vans. But the city presents challenges to e-vehicle engineers. In Hong Kong, we need a very strong air conditioning. <laughs> and, uh, and then we, we need a very uh, a, a car with a very good climbing ability. For example, if you're going up to the peak, which don't, you don't have a peak in, uh, in Beijing or Shanghai, don't you? So, so they scratch their head for that. The Expo is a leading platform for companies seeking opportunities under the Belt and Road Initiative, China's strategy to strengthen trade and cultural ties across the region. For electric vehicles, getting on the Belt and Road must happen now, even though much of the technology is still in development. China is developing electric vehicles rapidly, even quicker than Japan or Europe. However, if you ask me if they are 100% now, sorry, no. They still have a big room to improve. After three, five years, they'll become better and better, that's for sure. And by that time, when the product become more mature, technically more mature, then will be the right moment to bring those vehicles to the, uh, to the, uh, uh, the following countries along Ben Road. Echo Expo Asia is not just about profit, it's about the planet, and serves as a forum for environmental issues. One panel on global climate change at the event explored the Belt and Road as a driver for greater environmental awareness in future. And even the futuristic promise of robotics is seen as having an impact on improving the environment. Hong Kong company Cyber Discovery allows consumers to custom fit a basic robot model to suit specialised customer engagement needs. Watch out, these cutting-edge products at Echo Expo Asia in Hong Kong are ready to be rolled out globally soon.